Hello, 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 beautiful people. How are we doing? I'm so sorry. Thank you for being patient with me. I was attempting to like do the wet look and get all cute, literally just running in from the treadmill. And I have my lovely success story standing by, so that's going to be fun. I'm literally just chatting with her right now. Day three, how are we doing? How are we doing? Day three, I'm going to be dropping you something brand new, something very fun. However, thank you. <laughs> I was really trying. <laughs> I was really trying, Kansa. <laughs> I was really trying. <laughs> Ten minutes ago, I was just on the treadmill. No, we're doing our best. Um, do, do, do. I'm going to let my girly in. And we're going to get started. Oh, we have a couple people trying to come in, so I'm just going to let them in really quick. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Say hi. Just did your meditation. Loved it. Oh my gosh, I love that, Lindsay. I love that. Okay, so we're going to just honestly hop right in <laughs> to the live success story. So I'm going to have my girl call me. A big part of today is to give you inspiration. My girl that's coming on quite literally went from her person not even wanting to be seen or for other people to know that they were spending time together, not wanting anything to do with her, looking her dead in the eye and being like, I don't want nothing to do with you, to now she is engaged and they're literally getting ready to leave tomorrow to go for a one month holiday to Bora Bora and then another one month to India and she's getting ready to plan her wedding right now. And this man has done a complete 180 and it's all because she activated her goddess energy. She stepped into the high level, high value woman that she was always meant to be, but he was not able to pick up on before because she was not in her goddess energy. She was in her low self-concept energy. And when you're in your low self-concept energy, you actually repel the man rather than attract. When we flipped that, she attracted him. Hello, my love. How are you? doing good as well okay perfect I just want to make sure everyone can hear her and I'm going to mute my phone okay. so that it doesn't go off like a hooker's phone as usual <laughs> always struggling always struggle my clients love me and I love them um, but I want to I want to be fully present here and sometimes when the bings go off my my head pops up like a dog and I start looking around everywhere I'm like okay someone needs me time to Time to go back into coaching mode, but I want to be fully present with this success story. So hello, it's been a while. We've been talking about this for ages and it's finally here. And I hope it's, it's already sounding like your inner conversations because I know you practice being on my live success story. <laughs> so I have a very special guest today and she is, she utilized, um, Manifestation University, she utilized some personal coaching with not only myself, um, but the coaching with Kim and Sam as well to be able to facilitate this incredible, incredible result. She had a lot of circumstances and things in her way from her email to me while I was sitting with my family at dinner all the way to where we are now. We have overcome a lot of circumstances together, a lot of obstacles together. We've overcome I think we've overcome like family objections. I think there was also a little bit of limiting beliefs there. We've overcome friend objections. We've overcome objections about her person. We, it feels like we've conquered Mount Kilimanjaro together. And this has been, this has been a long time coming, but it goes to show that although I do really live and breathe and preach by the 90 day rule that your result will come as quickly as you can mentally get behind it. And this woman was in lights out communication. And after a few months in, all of a sudden, she was one of those people that she had to deal with a lot of silence before her movement started. And that's because she had a, a lot of limiting beliefs against him. And, you know, we were just hanging on to some stories on, on him, which is totally fine and normal and natural. But as we started to allow her to feel more comfortable and more free to practice letting them go, switching them. Um, and we did that in a variety of different ways because she was definitely one of my clients that she knows I say this lovingly, she got her money's worth on her packages. I tell you, 
my day one girl, we were, we were te texting essays. I literally muted my phone. I have no idea why that happened. We were literally texting essays. She needed a ton of reassurance. I, I believe she now has a PhD in manifestation similar to myself because we were pulling out techniques from every which direction to make her feel more comfortable and given her all the information she needed. And from where she started and where she is now, it's a totally different ball game. And I've brought her on here to inspire and motivate not only just you guys, but everyone that literally anything is possible as long as you can put your mind to it, as long as you're open and willing to do the work and see things differently. I've got the tools in the tool belt. I just need a little bit of a co-creating process. I need you to also work with me. So I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to shut up and let our guest of honor talk because that's the more important part. And I'm just, I'm just going to kind of like, you know, lean into this and honestly, um, let you begin. I would love for you to give, you know, some points of potentially maybe even the worst parts of where you yeah. were when you first contacted me, because I really, if there's one thing I want to capture is I want to capture <laughs> the level of 180 that happened. And that's going to happen with first us really establishing like where we began which was honestly ground yeah. zero or potentially even below that. And so please do give whatever details you feel comfortable with, list off some points. I, I want the people to really understand where you came from when it came to meeting me. Yes, um, 100%. So basically I met you exactly a year ago. Um, I think I met you on my birthday, which is in 10 days from now, but um, that was exactly a year ago. And when I came to you, I was already broken up for about a month and a half. Mm -hmm. And leading up to that breakup, like, I just want to take like complete accountability for this, that I was the person in charge who kind of caused it because for almost a year prior to the breakup, I was continuously thinking that this is exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. And sometime from now like it's it just like it will happen in like a few days there's that whatever and before that we'd obviously been together for um six years so the breakup happened i was completely devastated because it was very out of the blue for me i was going to like literally move in with him but then we broke up and I had so many other plans with him and then like everything just like went completely sideways when it happened and I was obviously very devastated. I think devastated would be an understatement because I refused to get out of bed. I refused to like <laughs> sleep. I refused to eat. I didn't want to like treat myself with the respect and decency of a basic human somehow. Because I just, I think, like, I just didn't respect or value myself. And I just didn't, like, see my worth back then. And then, fast forward to, like, I, I started working with you. And I think when we started, you asked me to, like, you explained the entire, like, manifestation equation to me. Then you asked me to, like, work on the first part of it, which was the self-concept part. And I didn't even want to do that. Um, because I was like, that this is a waste of time. I was literally going to say that. I was like, I want you to really understand. She was like, okay. Like, and she, like, we, we joke back and forth. So it's totally fine. Like, I don't take offense to it, but it's funny because later on she, when, when she realized that I was right. And when she stopped fighting it, she was like, Persis, I'll be so honest with you. And this is just kind of like joking way that we speak together. She's like, uh, when you told me to work on self-concept, you were like, oh, another coach that's going to waste my time. And I was like, oh, I was yeah. like this is so funny funny because especially looking at where she is right now I tell people we gotta we gotta build the foundation before we just put walls on the house otherwise it's gonna crumble over but please continue like she she definitely yeah. resisted she like I said she needed a lot of reassurance which was great because she was a king and queen client she had like the top premium package to get a lot of reassurance her package was able to message me whenever she wanted to whenever she needed to and for me to be there and give her that instant guidance that instant alignment shift so that we could keep her on track rather than waiting for a week to you know what i mean like to hear back from me or to have a call every week or something like that like she got the top level package but please continue 
Yeah, and I think just for context, like before I started working with you, I worked with like almost a dozen other coaches. Yeah, that was um, one of my points for later on. But yeah, go for it. <laughs> yeah. Tell them about your your experience. And I think like I heard a lot of like different things. I also like one of them like uh, basically sent me to a tarot reader. The other like there was another one that sent me to a psychic. And I did, like, I think I obviously, like, came in very skeptical because I didn't have a very good experience with any of them. So oh, that's probably also why when you asked me to do the self-concept work, I would say that I genuinely don't think this is going to work. But um, either way, so I did, like, so I, I was in personal coaching for almost, like, a month and a half. And then I did your self-concept experience. And then I also did the, I think, I, I forget what the name was, but the other, like, counterpart of it. Yeah, the and how to get them I obsessed just, with you. The, she's been in a yeah. couple of programs. She's been in um, personal. She's been in MU. She's really had a very big experience because she's had, like I said, a lot to overcome. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I, like, I think at that point, like, by the end of the second program, I think it was, like, January, so it had been, like, almost six months, and I had heard nothing, like, there was, like, yeah. absolute pin drop radio silence, like, Absolutely. nothing at all, and I was, I just remember looking back at those days like I just remember that I was crying almost every day like I yeah. used to spiral so much so much mm. and I didn't even want to like go out I yeah. didn't want to do anything basically. I remember because like, I, I was like leave to. the house I was like girl like you gotta like you gotta take yeah. care of yourself it's not healthy for your person to literally be your whole life and I I literally like we were talking back and forth and I was like you can't just sit on the couch and knit like you can't you can't just sit here and do nothing and i, I i'm no. curious also just to pop in for a couple seconds mm -hmm. were there a couple of things to really help this audience understand were there a couple of statements mm -hmm. that he said to you that really made you doubt or question whether this was possible i know we've discussed this back and yeah. forth but i'd love for you to give them yeah. a little bit of an understanding of how much a relationship was off the table like please i, I would love to hear yeah. more about that Hundreds. 100% I think like he so he said like some really mean things but about all the things that he said he was like that I will like never like never be in a relationship with you because like I've already made up my mind my mind cannot change it has never happened my mind does not change is what he said and he said it like a couple of times to the point where I, I think I genuinely like believed it like it was yeah. the word of God oh my and gosh yeah he, yeah, like I was like that his mind is not going to change. Why? Because he said so. Yeah. Because like he, he has like, and he said that even if like in the future, like if I want to like be in a relationship, I'll definitely not be with you because we've already had like such a huge history. Um, I don't want to like prioritize you or my friends. Like it was just a lot of like he gave me basically a giant laundry list of all the reasons on like why he thinks that this is mm. never going to work out and why he thinks that I like you know he's never going to like come back and even when he was leaving he's like that don't have like any kind of hope that I'm ever going to reach out to you so when everything was silent and I was not getting any contact and I was not getting any movement I almost like kept on reiterating those beliefs but it's like a cycle because mm -hmm. I reiterate those beliefs and then they played out mm -hmm. yeah. and then I reiterate them and they played out and it was crazy because yeah. this entire time I was like I don't like I don't know how this is how this is happening because I'm just sitting here and I'm doing like my affirmations yeah. three times a day but this is not happening but I think in hindsight, I do understand that I, I think like, it, yeah, part of it has to do with like, you know, saying your affirmations out loud or like doing whatever you're supposed to be doing. But another part of it is to really just genuinely accept that the new 
true version of yourself is who you are. Like that's it. Like yeah. there's no there's no other there's, there's no, no other no. version of you. The past doesn't exist. And, and and that's something I tell myself all the time whenever I'm struggling is like you're new in every moment. Like who I am at 1121 in 10 seconds is not who I am at 1121 and even 11 seconds. Everything is a choice of yeah. whether we want to bring it into the present moment or not. Do I want to pick up this metaphorical rock that's holding me back and holding me down? Or can I release it and drop it and choose to create like a new version? Like who I am, like a minute ago is not who I am right now. I'm always brand new. I'm always brand new. And it's yeah. based on my conscious choice as to whether I want to bring things that are disempowering into the present moment or whether I want to let them fall back. So I love that. I love that so much. One of the things that I wanted to mention is it took, it took her a long time to get behind her self-concept because so much of her self-worth when her relationship ended was wrapped up in him. However, I do want to give a little bit of extra backstory, which I don't know if we mentioned or not. This man did previously, like in the very beginning of the relationship, he was very enamored by her. But it was due to her own self-concept, like fears, gaps, problems, however you want to put it. The inadequacies that she felt internally that she believed, even at that point in time when he was telling her, that's ridiculous. She persisted in that story and she kind of almost, I would dare say, and correct me if I'm wrong, at the, at the point in time after like everything had hit the fan. You may, I think you expressed to me at one time or maybe even a couple times, like, why was he not able to kind of like, how do I put this? Like, why was he not able to kind of like do more than what my self-concept allowed? Do you know what I mean? Like, do you remember those yeah. conversations yeah. where you were yeah, like, yeah. I wish yeah. he could have like, like I, she, it was almost like she wanted, not that she wanted it, but it's just where her identity was like her self-concept she wanted him to do mm -hmm. more than what her self-concept indicated. And how many times have yeah. we all felt that? I mean, I know I have felt that where I'm like, I want you to do more for me than what I believe. But even when that was happening, before she was fully persistent and believing in those negative limitations, he was actually encouraging her. But it fell on deaf ears because she didn't see herself that way. She wasn't in her goddess energy of knowing she's amazing, incredible, wonderful. And then later on, when things hit the fan, she was like, why, why wasn't he able to do more for me? And it's like, well, technically he was, we just persisted in the wrong story. And that takes some isolation and time alone to really build yourself back up. Because at the end of the day, when we have the support, but we're not able to fully receive it, it usually means like some part of us just actually believes the limitation. And, and when she actually believed it and no, there was no amount of reassurance from his side that was able to circumvent the situation. So then we had to start and build from the ground up. And that's what we did. We wanted to make sure that I always reference manifestation like a house. We, we wanted to start from the foundation. We wanted to build a really strong foundation before moving on. And the two biggest things that were, I think, your hindrances, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts if you would agree with me, is the self-concept first, obviously. And then when we moved into changing how you saw him and trying to eliminate the trauma, the pain, the aches, the heartaches, the words that he said, because she very elegantly phrased it, his word in her mind was like the word of God. It was unmovable, it was unshakable. And that presented us a lot of resistance for a long period of time. And I would just sit in that background and I would just be like, but this is the reason why that's invalid. And I would give her all the reassurance to let her come back into herself and to rediscover her power and to show her all the movement that was happening and to remind her how other people around her were also wanting to propose to her and be with her but she was very stuck on this gentleman so we continue to persist with this gentleman and everything starts with your concept of how you view yourself and that's what i like to call these days stepping into your goddess energy because it's really just coming home to who you are and who you've always been. You just kind of lost that little bit of magnetism that allows this to happen more organically, more naturally, more effortlessly. And then I can know I'm amazing. But if I also know, pardon my French, that like men are crap or women cheat or she can't change or he can't change or there's no good men available or all I do is attract emotionally unavailable people or people don't want to commit to me, that's also not going to help. 
you need to be able to have yeah. everything flowing in unison. And one of the things that we did in the programs, in personal, in MU, was we made sure that she was very 360 balanced so that her universe could start to work for her rather than her feeling like she has to do so much. Because even during the times that she was doing the most with other coaches, she was not getting a result. And it's because the exact blockages in her subconscious mind were not being pinpointed, showed to her, and then given strategies to dissolve. When those blockages started to dissolve one by one by one, and it did take time, absolutely it took time, she started to experience a reality that she previously only dreamed of. And it goes to show that like our 3D can load, that's what I call it, as quickly as our assumptions load. And a lot of times what we need to get those assumptions to load is just a lot of support. It's a little bit of coaxing some even, even sometimes. It's, <laughs> it's, it's honestly just convincing you to believe more in the truth than in the limitations. And being in close proximity was super helpful. And I'm curious to hear how I helped, how, you know, uh, you know, coaching with mom helped. Like I want, I want you to give people an idea of how this support really helped you. Yeah. I mean, that was like, I, I would say that was basically all of it because, and, um, because when I started, I didn't even like, I, I didn't even know like what some of my limiting beliefs were. Yeah. And I remember that there were these long conversations like really really long text conversations or even over the phone <laughs> where i would tell you that this is this is like what i think is going to happen and it would be the complete opposite of what i want and you were able to you know pinpoint exactly exactly like the limiting beliefs exactly um yeah. what i need to you know work on and i think i'm someone who does not like to work with ambiguity like there are people who are good with that but I'm not like that in my professional life either like yeah. I want very clear instructions and I'll do it but yeah. I want those like clear instructions and I think one of the things that I love about um, coaching with you and with like your mom is that I got like very clear instructions like I was not getting vague knowledge yeah. from you guys like I wasn't hearing that oh yeah just like just get over it or just like write this five times five yeah. times a day like I wasn't getting any of the nonsense bullshit yeah. like it was just very straightforward very helpful and I think because I was um doing personal coaching with you I was able to like reach out to you every single time I spiraled Mm -hmm. every single time like and that was and I spiraled a lot I think for mm -hmm. up until I think almost May of 2023 like so from October of 2022 to May of 2023 I think I spiraled almost once a week if not every day yeah. and I had the yeah. ability to just reach out to you and you were very kind and very patient um, especially patient because I think you have repeated the same exact concepts to me not once not twice not thrice but maybe like for some of them like maybe at least 50 to 100 times <laughs> and very patiently like I have asked the exact same questions of you um, like six months in that you probably answered in the first call itself and at no point did I feel like you're getting annoyed by me or like you know or I, I never felt discouraged I never felt like I am being too much I never felt anything like negative basically like the only thing that I've felt from your end is not only encouragement but I also felt like you were personally invested like I don't know how to explain it like it was just like this level of that I want this to happen for you yeah. I'm just not like a coach who's just you know getting paid and I'll just clock in the hours and I'll just send you like a one size fits all mm -hmm. um thing to do and I'm out of it like I think you that's how I felt at least like at multiple points where I was like that no she's like actually personally invested in this like she wants me to win 
she wants me to do that and i will say this that when you're at a very like low point in your life where you don't think that you're ever going to be able to recover from it you actually need just one person like that's it they like, just one person to believe in you constantly and be there for you and constantly tell you that it doesn't matter like they want to see you win yeah and that's all the encouragement you need in order to like you know put one step in front of the other and keep yeah. going so and that that's what you like did for me so i was like super super helpful I, I would not be able to like do this by myself that i just want to like say that out loud that there is i have to like give credit where it's due and um you deserve all of it thank you so, i really appreciate that i feel like if there's one thing because that's such a kind thing to say i really like receive that and i really appreciate it because i was so invested and i'm i think we're all invested in our clients like me, mom, dad, everyone, like we are people. I feel like if there's one statement that could summarize our personality is we want to see people win. You said it very elegantly. It's like if there's one thing that um, if you've been following me for a while, sometimes I even post on my stories and I'm probably the most, um, how do I say, uh, active on things like TikTok and Instagram. Those are my favorite ones. There are times where I would film like little stories of maybe like, dad on a call with a client or mom on a call with a client or i'm Without on a call no like i'd be in the room remember oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and like as an example one of the things that really comes to my mind is you had a client a while back who had not lost weight for like eight years mm -hmm. and was struggling with her body image mm -hmm. and i remember being on the couch and it was the end of the night and i was like i'm just exhausted i'm tired I am mentally spent and she's like, I just got to go do a call and then we can watch the Food Network. <laughs> and I just remember this conversation this evening as clear as day. And I'm just going to take two seconds explaining this, but like all I heard from my mom's end, because these walls are paper thin, <laughs> is like, oh my God, you're kidding me. Oh my God, you're kidding me. And I'll, you know me and my nosy self. I'm like, I need to understand what's happening now. Like I had a rough yes, day. Yes, your nosy self. I, I, had, I had like 10 different clients. I was, I've been in back-to-back -back meetings. Like I'm exhausted. I need to emotionally recover from today. But what does my nosy butt do? I put my lazy boy chair recliner footrest thing down and I go and march into the room and I'm like, tell me everything that's happening right now. <laughs> and mom puts it on speaker and this woman was just honestly emotional and moved to tears that like after eight years of her struggling with her body, her image, her being on every diet known to man, her right, working. I don't, I don't even know. She, I think she worked with other people as did, well, but yeah. she wasn't able to be successful yeah. before finding us. Like she, she had dropped weight. Her skin had cleared some other parts of her bone structure. Like she had, she had really done a wonderful, like physical glow up. And not only was it a physical glow up, but the physical glow up happened because of the mental self-concept glow up. And she manifested money. Yeah. And she manifested money. And I remember just like, I was like, I'm going to just make a quick story about this. And I, I, I used it as a teaching point to be like, we care so much about our clients. Like our job is to put them on the pedestal when they don't see it in themselves. And we are that those parents, those, those happy parents or those best friends that are literally at like your graduation ceremony being like that's my client right there and we're like making all the noise for them and we are really helping them see the truth of who they are before they can even see it because i know you're amazing i know you're competent i know you're capable i know you're intelligent i know your will and your desire for more we're just going to help you get on board with this more and more and more every single day mm -hmm. activate that god or goddess energy every mm -hmm. single day make you know that you are a million dollar woman a million dollar man and walking with that sense of pride and confidence so that you can literally become a walking magnet to be able to change how you see yourself and how you see the world is really the key to having an incredible incredible life and if there's one thing that we that would summarize us in a statement is like we we have so much pride in what we do it really makes us happy for people to come and be like you've literally changed the trajectory of our lives like and and i hope you feel even a small bit of that even if it's by 10 percent, because we really put our heart and soul into it and we want every single person to win that is our goal that is what we feel like our job and we take our job very seriously and I, I hope you felt that even by like 5% because I, I, I have been waiting for this success story for a long time. I've been waiting for this success story. And as soon as I got the picture and I can't show it with you guys, but that's okay. I saw it of the ring and everything. I was like, Pixar, it didn't happen. <laughs> and we were just like joking back and forth because it's like, 
you know, you become friends, you know, with your clients, you have that special bond, especially ones that you work with for longer periods of time. Um, I have people that come into year long packages, six month packages, because they just see that the work works pretty instantly. <laughs> and so they're like, I'm not going to let this woman go now. And I, I hope you felt that. I hope you felt that from us because you, we have been invested in you for a minute. And when we got this message, I remember mom coming into our game room and being like, guess what happened? And I was like, what? She's like, you didn't see your message? I was like, no, mom, I'm trying to <laughs> relax at the end of day. She's like, guess who got engaged? And I was like, shut up, yeah. shut up. No, I actually had to read it twice. I was like, shut up. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like a freaky Friday moment. It's like, shut up. I'm like, stop it. Don't, don't, don't do this to me. Don't be playing games with my heart right now. And it was just such an incredible experience. And we, we glow we glow for uh, our client success stories but i want to i want to move into a different question and i'm curious to okay. see your answer um okay. obviously i know you've been through like a dozen different coaches you've spent god knows how much i think you said a few thousand or maybe even ten thousand on coaches i'm not really sure how much it's been yeah i think that's at this point it's probably more than that yeah i don't even want to count to <laughs> yeah because i <laughs> i Especially right now, like, I feel really bad. I wasn't feeling as bad about it earlier, but, like, now in hindsight, I feel really bad about the amount of, the sheer amount of money that I spent on everyone else. Listen, it, it was, I hope, and, and that's kind of where I'm leading into my couple next questions, is, like, would you recommend me to another? Do you think that I am competent, capable, educated enough to help people with overcoming their obstacles because the next goal for myself is I want to be working with women who you know what I mean who want to manifest an amazing man and I would dare say although we haven't heard this part of the story yet that your man has really stepped into his masculine almost oh. provider energy type of man and I want to help more women understand that there are you can have a man who is, you know, emotionally present, who is mentally present, who spoils you, who pays attention to you. And I want to work with those individuals. I want to help people in all areas of life, whether it's glowing up their business, mm -hmm. like how we've done, whether it's doing the appearance changes. So money. I'm curious, money, yeah, exactly. How was the quality of coaching with me? Would you, would you be able to confidently say that, you know, I can help other people in this process? I mean, I, I, I mean, you know this, like, I am your, like, biggest, like, cheerleader, I'm your PR team. I, yes, 100%. I think, um, so I've obviously been through many, many, many pushes, so I feel yeah. like I do have, like, some level of credibility when I say this. Yeah. That I think in your coaching and I can speak for myself, is what I benefited the most from. Like, I would not be able to do this without your coaching. And I want to, like, make that very clear yeah. to anyone that's hearing this right now. And I think I, like, my only regret always was that I didn't, like, find you first. I like, I had to that. go through <clears throat> everyone else before I found you. Yeah. And I want to make sure, because the thing is, like, sometimes people are just going to, like, invest in other, I don't see it as, like, spending money, I see it as investing money, because, you know, you get the returns on yeah. it, but, um, so I see that a lot of people, you know, want to go for coaches who have, like, shorter coaching packages, or don't like you know or the ones that don't like cost as much or whatever but i'm just going to say this that you get what you mm -hmm. pay for mm -hmm. so it's like you know it's and you, everything that you give to your clients or even in like group programs is very much worth it yeah like i'm not like i i have i have become a different person right because of it it's not just like getting to this end point like i'm just a completely different person now yeah. i don't even relate to like who i was a year ago to the extent that i i think leading up to this call i was really trying so so fucking hard to like remember like what what were the thoughts that used to like go through who, my head who was because that person that's how little i remember yeah i don't like remember any of it and i'm being honest like i don't mm -hmm. even say it in like an arrogant way i genuinely 
could not recall a lot of things. Like I was blank, blanking out. Um, and yeah, and so is he. Like he, like oh my god, I. Let's, Don't even like get me started. Yeah, no, no, no. Let's let's go there. I was just gonna say because we do have a comment that says uh, we want to hear the rest of her story, how he came back in, everything, where he is now, like behavior wise oh. and everything. So let's move in over there. So I think this is the perfect transition because we were. I know when me and you talk, we just get excited and we go into 10 different directions, but uh, obviously we want to hear yeah. like what's happening right now, um, how things have progressed. I don't even know parts of this story so far, so I'm excited. Yeah. Wherever you want to hop uh -huh. into, like, please take us through the journey. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. I'm going to start with June. So okay. if you remember, like he had reached out randomly in June after mm -hmm. like almost nine to 10 months of absolute radio silence. Like yep. he had quote unquote accidentally called me. Mm -hmm. And then that accidental call like turned into, he was like that, oh, like just, just, you should just come over for this weekend. And because mm -hmm. I was in like such deprivation of any yeah. kind of movement from him i saw that and i ran with it i was like yeah i'm taking like the next fucking flight out of here <laughs> i'm going to be there in the morning okay. and i like i i think you remember this that i was so i visited him and it was not good at all yeah. because literally the moment i walked into his place he was like that yeah i just want to like make sure that you know that i'm not like looking for a relationship and I just, yeah. and he reiterated basically everything that he said at the time of the breakup, plus more. And, and I felt so bad. Like I instantly felt, I was like that all this time, everything that I have worked on is out of the window because <laughs> like clearly this is not working. It has not worked and it is not going to work. And I had like so many thoughts that came up during mm -hmm. that time. And I remember like even then you... Uh, like I remember messaging you I don't think I was on a coaching package at that point in time yeah but you did prioritize my call mm -hmm. and even when I was there like I was in the middle of this whole like shit show unraveling in front of me yep and you mm -hmm. prioritized my call and we spoke for a good like 90 minutes both you and uh, Mrs. Kim like and I was I was so touched by that because again, like that is what kind of motivated me. Yeah. That call was what motivated me. I was like that, you know what? I think I'm done with this. Like, why am I getting so hurt by looking at this version of him when I don't want any part of it? I don't want any of it. Like, do I want to like be with this person? Because at that time he was broke. He had lost his job. He was living like, like in a state where I would not like want to be with a person like that. Like he was in a significantly worse state than when we like parted ways. And I saw right in front of my eyes that I'm getting hurt by a version of this person that I don't even want to be with. I don't yeah. want any part of it. Like I'm not missing out on like, you know, anything, anything right now. Yeah. So, so then I came back, um, I came back, I assembled myself and I was like, that, you know what, I'm just like, this is a choice that I have to make every single day. And I'm not going to accept anything less than what I want. I'm going to keep making this choice. I'm going to refuse to give up. I'm only going to focus on the version of them that I want. Like I'm literally letting everything else go. I'm going, regardless of the circumstances, I'm not going to play ball with the 3D. I'm not getting stuck. And I don't need to listen to anything that he's saying because this is not even the person that I want. Like, it's not like, I don't, like, do I really, I remember coming back and I remember this conversation with my younger sister. I was like, but do I really, really desperately, like, I'm sitting on this couch and crying over this person yeah. who is living his life as if like it's just hanging by a thread essentially yeah like what is going on like i cannot like as someone i am so accomplished i am so intelligent literally I am so smart i'm so beautiful 
and everything is like i'm such a kind person so giving is that what i need to like cry about like that that's that was insane to me i think that entire trip to his place as much as i hated it in that moment i think that's exactly what i needed it's yeah. exactly what i needed to like understand that there is no like missing out because before that i was very anxious i was like there's no movement there's no this there's no that and i will say this that because i kept on focusing so much over the movement the movement happened but i still ended up with the same version of him because mm-hmm. i didn't focus a lot on changing who he was as a person yeah, in we my did, head. We did not change a ton at that point in time. We at that point in time we were just doing self concept work and and the movement was flying. Men were wanting to propose to her, be with her. That was fine. But now in case, you know, Mount Kilimanjaro of self concept wasn't difficult enough, now we have another mountain behind it, which is changing our viewpoint of him. And letting go of the stories, processing the pain, seeing him differently, which this is why I say people who are stuck on a person, which is totally fine, you just got to be able to have a different level of strength because it's going to be 10 times easier to let that person go. Otherwise, you have to process all that past. You've got to still see the person better when they're acting a little shitty, you know, part of my French, <laughs> when they're acting okay. poorly, when they're treating you poorly, when they're disrespecting you. And that's different level strength. That's different level strength. And she had that strength that we had to have that conversation a couple times that, listen, girl, we can either have our limitations or we can have our results, but we can't have both. One of them's going to have to go. We're going to have to put it in the shredder. And we're going to have to shred one of them. And if, if you want these results, this is definitely what we're going to need to do. And we don't need to do it overnight, but we're going to do it bit by bit. And the more you can get your mind familiar with it. I, I remember I told you, I gave you my SpongeBob analogy. I was like, we've practiced yeah. the old story of, I'll just say A, with our right bicep, because I'm right-handed. So I'm going to use this as the dominant bicep. This is going to be the old story bicep. And we're like... You know, 4,056, 4,057, 4,058. And then we went all the way up to being like 10,000. And we've got this like bulked bicep. We are jacked. We've got the SpongeBob. You remember like his his real jacked moment where we we got the arms, bro. But we just have it on this side. And it's because all we've done is practice the old story. And it's like now we're going to take the dumbbell and realize that, okay, we're jacked here, but we're not jacked here. We're uneven. And a lot of times you can dissolve a lot of resistance just by doing this, switching the dumbbell over here and starting to practice here. Because I said this in yesterday's live, neuroplasticity. You love the geeky, nerdy science stuff, right? Neurons that fire together, wire together. And what you don't use, you lose. That's exactly what she's describing here. She can't even remember who she was. She can't even remember those memories. He doesn't even remember those memories. And it's because what you don't use, you lose. A lot of people want to use this bicep and then do this at the same time and wonder why the 3D is not working. You need to completely let that go. You can't practice the old and practice the new and then get a result because what's more dominant? This bicep will never be able to grow at the same rate this has. You have to stop with this and just focus on this. And she said so many elegant things of what she did. She's not going to play ball with the 3D. You know, she's she's not going to, she's going to make a choice to decide this every single day. She said so many good things, honestly. You'll have to watch back the playback for that one. But at that point in time, we just haven't done enough of our left bicep curls to be able to have him be better. And I remember on that call, I was so unbothered. I was like, I ain't even worried. I was like, I'm not even worried. I was like, I see your little, these little piddly problems as not even problems. And for her, her world was like collapsing. She was like, Paris, like, I don't understand why this hasn't moved. And I was like, I could tell you exactly how it doesn't move. Like, I could tell you exactly how I could draw you a Venn diagram right now, girl. I could tell you exactly why. And it wasn't to discredit her. It was to show her that like, we haven't even done the other half of this. So obviously... On a scale of one to 10, how much you believe he's a lover boy right now, like Drake, I mean, the answer is zero. So obviously like there's nothing else to expect. I was like, I'm confused as to how you're confused. And I was just once again, trying to make light of the situation because I knew we weren't done. I knew we weren't done. I could see the bigger picture for her and I laid it out for her again and again and again. And once again, I held that space for her. 
I helped her believe in herself before she could have that belief. And then what did she do? She said it very elegantly. Now I see in hindsight, that's exactly what I needed to move forward and to be able to really buckle down and do this work. So please keep going. I don't mean to interrupt, but that was just so good. No, no, no. That was like, that was, that was so very good explanation because that's exactly what I was doing. I was like reiterating like what mm -hmm. he said in the past, what he did in the past and this and that. But I think like after that trip, I was like, well, I'm done with like all these doubts. Yeah. I am not a lap dog. I'm not a doormat nope. to anyone. I know sure exactly not. what my worth is. I know exactly what I deserve. And I'm done being the person who just like sits on the sidelines and watches like everyone else get exactly what they want. I am not going to stop in the middle of this process again. The only way I lose if I quit. And I remember that like when I, I wouldn't call it like restarting, but after the trip, I was like that if giving up is tempting me like metaphoric metaphorically like when my legs give in then i shouldn't even like fucking begin like this is like if i should not even bother taking the first step because i'm ready to turn this whole situation around 180 degrees and i'm going to keep going i'm not afraid of what's going to unfold and unravel from this like stupid version of him and what he's going to say because it's not even what i want like i was just and after that point onwards like I saw, like, almost every 10 days, like, he would just call me and he'd be like that, yeah, do you want to just, like, kind of hang out with me? But, like, I'm just going to be a friend. I don't want a relationship and I don't want this and I don't want that. I was like, no, no, I'm done. I'm done with that. Like, I know exactly what I want and I know my worth. And I also, like, set that boundary with him. I kept on reiterating again and again. I was like, that's I am only interested if this is exactly what you give me and I gave him like a whole list and even then I remember I sent him this one message that I thought was extremely strongly worded yep. and I remember coming to you for sis and I was like okay did I like push this man away because <laughs> I didn't hear anything after yeah. that from him and I was very worried I was extremely worried because I was like that did I did I do something wrong but I remember you told me you were like that no you just like stood in the version of yourself that you are right now and like how you've changed and he's going to like take this almost as an opportunity to like up level himself and then and I couldn't even like a hundred percent believe in that because I genuinely believe that I have fucked this up because I decided to word it so strongly. And it was um, not even strong. It was not even strong. But yes, I know exactly yeah, what you mean. Was, At that time, it felt it like really huge that, because she had yeah. never talked to him that way before. She had never talked to yeah. him that way before. So for her, it was a little bit of mental intimidation. It was a little bit of mental intimidation that she was like, I, I mean, I think I messed this up. Was this too strong? And I'm like, no, you're just standing in your 2.0 self-concept. You're just standing in that. Yeah. Yeah, so fast forward to like August now, like it's end of August. So there was that message, didn't hear from him at all. Um, end of August, I like resigned from my previous job. And then I was like, but I'm just going to take a break. I'm just going to vacation. Like this whole, like everything has gone to shut for like way too long in my life. And I'm yeah. fucking tired. I'm exhausted. And I'm just going to like, um, like just go out of state i was in california he lives in california i was there for a while and i was like that i'm just going to vacation i'll just go to a few beaches mm -hmm. i'll go to like amusement parks do things that make me happy i just genuinely want to relax and i'll come back to this whole like thing maybe in a few weeks from now and i was i was relaxing I was vacationing and I just want to like put this out there because a lot of times like what I've seen and what I have done is that I people like I just wanted to sit on my couch and wait for him to just show up like just show up and I was like that's when I'm going to start living my life that's yeah. when I'm going to start like you know doing things that make me happy because up until that time, I'm not going to give myself the permission to like go on and live and enjoy the other parts of my life. 
So I was vacationing, I'm chilling, and he called me. He was like, that you know, I um. He called me, and this was like end of September. He was like, that I'm sorry, because I felt like I mistreated you when you were here in June. Um, like when you were visiting me in June and I was extremely rude to you and I should not have said the things that I said and done the things that I did and I like, saw on your Instagram stories that you're in um, the Bay Area and I just wanted to see if we can meet up, if I can just like, you know, take you out for lunch or something just to like, you know, apologize for my behavior back in June. And I also got a new place, by the way, and I would love for you to, like, visit this place. And I remember, even at that point, like, on that call, I told him, I was like that, (laughs) he said that I want to take you out for lunch. And I was like, in what capacity? (laughs) (laughs) In what capacity? What is your intention, sir? Yeah, I was like, in what capacity? And he's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, I'm not your friend, bro. Like, I'm not, I'm not your, your friend. friend bro. I am not trying to be either. And there are and I'm not a lot of be. people out here who are dying to take me out on a date mm-hmm. and who would do anything to do it. So I'm telling you, and I, because I was genuinely in that state at that point where I had convinced myself that <laughs> I deserve very late you know good treatment and if he is not going to give it now i'm going to give someone else the opportunity to do that because i cannot like you know gatekeep myself and all these like amazing things that i have to offer in a relationship and everything that i bring to the table so basically i said that to him i was like that i'm not going to like do this like i'm not trying to be friends with you and i hope you understand that and he was like so shook yeah. i remember like even on the call when i said that <laughs> he was like what i i remember like him just going what i was like yeah yeah like, i have I'm men trying to take me anymore. out there's a line out the back there's a line out the yeah. back like listen it's put up or shut up bro like what do you what do you what do you want what do you want what do you want i got options i got options so you're gonna have to bring something yeah. strong to the table and I was no longer scared to, like, not have him back. I yeah. will say this. I was like that, you know, good for you. You want to, like, I am the best thing that can happen to you right now in your life. Like, I am the only thing that can probably fix your life right now. But if you don't want it, that's on you. That's on you. Like, good luck with that. And he just... And then we like sort of ended the call and I remember him asking, he's like, that, can you give me time to think? And I was like, well, it's been a whole year that you've had, but I can like give you like maybe a, like three to four more days. But after four days, mm-hmm. do not like reach out to me after that. I'm going to block your number. I'm going to block you from all my social media. You're not allowed to like re-enter my life. Like this is not a... This is not a fucking hostel. This is not a revolving door. Hero. Yeah. Yeah, that you can just like, you know. Enter like, my life whenever you want. Come in, get out, come in, get out. Like, I'm not looking for a fucking date. Like, if you want to, like, be with me, then be with me. Otherwise, like, get out and, like, let someone else take care. <laughs> let okay. someone else so, take your spot. <laughs> like, it's, Stop. I said that and I just hung up. And I remember I hung up and I... I wish I was there because I would have been in the background. Sorry, I'm just interrupting for two (laughs) seconds. But how many people on this live right now are going, oh, (laughs) like everyone is just kind of flipping out because that's such a bomb ass situation. That's such a mood. That's such a vibe. Like this is the type of goddess energy, God energy that I'm referring to. Like, do you see the difference do you see the difference from like crying over a situation to being like listen in in what capacity are you trying to take me out i'm not your friend and i'm not trying to be i have men here trying to take me out you've had a while to step up it's basically giving (laughs) serious inquiries only we have a girl named nicole saying serious inquiries only (laughs) stop i can't take it i can't take it 
take it. I can't take it. Um, and so it's just, it's crazy, right? It's crazy, crazy, crazy that, you know, the level of shifts that occur. And it's like, listen, it's put up or shut up time, basically at this point in time. Yeah, Here, here's your time I, frame. Crazy. Please I keep going. Please keep going. On that cause, he was like, that, Are you not afraid to lose me? I was like, No, you should be afraid to lose me. You wow. should be very afraid, very scared to death right now that you're actually going to like fucking lose me in three days. Like, you're never going to hear from me again. And I told him, I was like, That you know, like, I'm telling you this right now that you're never going to find someone like me either because it does not exist. Yeah. It's not going to exist, and you're going to regret this decision for the rest of your life. So think carefully, and I am good with whatever. Like, I am perfectly fine, because I am going to have a good life, whether you're here or whether you're not here. So it's on you. Like, I want to share that good life with you, but if you don't want it, then I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to, like, Sit here, my yeah, and beg and cry and, and, and get you to yeah. love me. I'm not going to sit here and convince you of my worth. You should be afraid. Um, I think I was kind of annoyed in that call, which is why I think I don't talk like that. I'm a very, like, sweet and kind person Yeah. in general. No, but I love but it. But I was so fucking done with him. I, I remember I told him, I was like, that I'm not going to sit here and explain this to you. You know why? Because... Bees don't like waste their time explaining to flies why honey tastes better than shit. Like if you want to then go like have shit. Like I'm not like, going to be wait, cured. Say that again. Say that again. I'm not going to sit here. Oh, wait, I need this line. Hang on. Say that one more time. <laughs> and I'm not going to like wait here and waste my time. And like explain, explain to and like. Explain to you like why I'm better. No, 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 no. That was not the line. Explaining to flies, I'll help you out here. Explaining to flies why honey is better than shit. Stop. Stop. Because I was like, this is. I was like, don't you see it, bro? I need this tattooed on my body. You, I was like, you can't see it. That's not my problem. Your inability to see my work is no longer a challenge for me to prove it to you. That's on you, bro. Like, you don't want it? Good. Like, I'm going to move the fuck on. Like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I just, like, need that confirmation. And you have, like, exactly three to four days. And you can, like, just let me know whatever it is. And I hung up. And, <laughs> like, four days later, okay. I think... So he contacted one of my friends that I was staying with and he asked for the address and four days later or three days ago, I don't even remember if it's the weekend and he just, he drove over, he drove all the way over, uh, he lives an hour away from where I was and with a giant ass bouquet of orange flowers because I love, orange is my favorite color and he remembered that orange flowers and a sorry card and he showed up and he was and I remember my friend like she opened the door she's like well someone's here to see you and I saw him and <laughs> I still asked him like he's you know all like nicely dressed up and he has this bouquet of flowers in his hand and like I can see like a you know like cute little like sorry card and I looked at him and I went, I'm like, but I hope that you're not here to, like, extend a hand of friendship because I do not want to be friends with you. Yeah. I'm just saying this again and again that I'm not interested in being friends. He's like, oh, no, no, no. Like, I'm, I'm not here to, like, be friends either. Like, I, I genuinely just wanted to, like, oh, I was wondering if, like, it's okay if I can, like, take you out for dinner tonight and that's it. Like, and maybe we can have, like, ice cream later if you want. Um, and I looked at him, like, I gave him a good, like, look from head to toe, and I was like, if that's fine, I think we can go out for dinner. I have not had food yet. I, like, I'm also hungry. I was still, like, I was still kind of angry, but I didn't want to, you know, Ruin completely, the like, turn yeah. down. And so I was like, okay, okay, I see the effort. And then, so I went, I got ready, and I'm just going to say this that I have known him for almost
was like what seven years at this point he has never done this i he has never like brought bought me any flowers never bought me any cards never like uh you know driven from anywhere to anywhere to like pick me up like he didn't even used to pick me up from the fucking airport when i used to visit him so i was kind of shocked but then we went on dinner and he was just like it was a different person i don't know how to like how else to say it it almost felt like i'm with a different person like he was just so so like calm and composed and kind and just like normal for once like he was not being an absolute idiot and so we were at dinner and he said he's like that you know i've been like really thinking about what you said the other day on the phone and how these like past like few months have been and i think like i i do agree with you that i agree that like i am missing out a lot on a lot in my life and i thought a year ago that after leaving you like everything will be nice and happy and it was for a few months um i was hanging out with my friends and i was going on all of these road trips and i was doing this and i was doing that but what i realized is that if you're like if you're not in my life then none of it matters anyway like it's all meaningless and i am can't like find the peace or find what i'm looking for um without you because i think i'm trying to like look for you everywhere and i've been doing that and i can't find it but i think it's time that i let go of my ego and let go of my arrogance and accept that like it's just like i i fucked up mm-hmm. i fucked up by letting you go a year ago and for the past 3 days that's what's been weighing on me that i will fuck up once again if i let you go once again mm-hmm. and i was i'm just going to say this i was sitting there i was like trying to like make my facial expressions look very normal but in turn <laughs> i was like what the fuck like <laughs> what is going on like i was ready to move on from you <laughs> yeah i was literally ready to be like deuces and it's funny one of the comments says he realized ain't no sunshine when she's gone <laughs> and isn't it crazy what did we do girl like what did we do i do the lord's work and i just want my flowers okay i just want my acknowledgement i do god's work here and if there's ever a story that people want to know what his purses do you need to tell them she does the lord's work cuz this is what the lord's work is all about this is what i do i do the lord's work we do the lord's work it's not just me mama mystery was just as much involved and invested in this situation as i was it's just that i had her for several months ahead of time and then i started to offer like a new different type of package where it was like dual coaching two coaches tag teaming your situation and we we have been invested in this and i didn't even know this like this story like to the full extent i only knew from what was happening back in june so i just want to i just want i just want people to know that I do the lord's work i i mean my client is amazing but i just me, want people to know me, me. we do the lord's work here we do the lord's work cuz this I'm is inc- your pedestal, girl. this is incredible <laughs> this is absolutely bonkers absolutely bonkers were these her affirmations being said back to her that's a good question were you affirming that at that point in time i know at that point in time you'd kind of really let go but were those ever a point of um affirmations that you were doing tell us and walk us through a little bit of what was going through your mind did it feel normal and natural tell tell me more about you know the details before i before i cut in you know please keep going yeah yeah so basically I I mean at that point in time like I was having such a moment that I didn't even like think about yeah if this is like a deja vu or anything like I I could not like process remember yeah remember makes anything sense at all yeah I was in my own zone and so that night happened and he was like that yeah I just want to like clarify my intentions with you as you have asked 3 days ago that i i do like uh, you had asked like in the capacity of what and he's like that i i want you to be a part of my life as my girlfriend and i 
I'm like, I'm not here to like just be like I have a full like intention to get married to you, and I just want to clarify that. Um, straight up because I know that that's something that's important to you and he let me just put that like he never wanted to get married like he just like he was so against the idea of the institution of marriage that he was just like he did he did not want any of it yeah so I heard that and I was like well that's fine and I because to be entirely honest like throughout that dinner I didn't feel like I was getting anything more than like what I deserved like I I was like oh, this yeah this is this is what I deserve like I'm finally getting it but this is what I deserve like I'm not going to like sit here and just you know put him back up on the pedestal for like giving me this like this is how he yeah. sh- I should have been treated and this is how I'm going to get be treated from here like from this point onwards. So we had that date and then um, we started talking again mm-hmm. and we started like going out on dates and mm-hmm. he called my dad. Um, <laughs> I didn't know about this. He called my dad and he apparently told my dad, he was like that, you know, I'm really sorry for, um, not being there for her for a whole year and being absent from her life but I just like wanted to like call you and I wanted to let you know that um, I intend to like you know marry your daughter because she's so amazing and that's exactly what he said he was like that she's so amazing and I just wanted to thank you and um, like basically thank my dad and my mom for like he's like that for raising such an amazing human and I wanted to ask your permission if it's okay if I asked her to like marry me um and I wanted to make sure that I you are a part of this process and my dad obviously I mean my parents were like you know with me throughout on this journey and so my dad was like that he gave him a hard time Mm-hmm. And he asked him, like, some really difficult questions. He was like, like, you know, how do I know that your mind is, like, not going to change, like, three yeah. months from now? Because he's like, that I've raised my daughter with a lot of, like, love and affection. And I don't know if, like, you can keep that up. Like, how do I know this and how do I know that? And he straight, okay, so he said to my dad, um, I'm just going to, like, yeah. call my do it. SP. Go for like, it. XYZ. Okay, like let's say his name is XYZ. So just call him Bob. Like, his well, name is Bob. Yeah. Perfect. So he just said that, well, I just want you to know that there is no Bob without your daughter. Like, there is no part of me that can exist without her. There is no reason, there is no purpose of my existence um, beyond her. And I just like, that's, this is exactly what I want. I don't want anything else in my life. And so that call happened. I was not aware of that conversation, obviously, back then, because he want, like, you know, wanted to keep it a surprise. He then got in touch with my sister and my best friend. He was like, can you guys like tell me sort of like what kind of ring uh, she wants? Like, does she, like, is there a certain, like, you know, cut that she's looking for? Is there a certain, like, you know, metal that she wants or whatever. And so they they gave him some, like, reference options. He goes and buys the ring. Now, this is, I think, last week, two weeks ago. I don't even remember. I don't even have a track of days anymore. But we are, um, we were in Santa Cruz at the beach, like, boardwalk. And I hate, like, I love going on amusement park rides, but I also hate them because they make me, like, feel super nauseous afterwards. So, we're there, and I am, like, I'm fully, like, dressed up because I, like, I like dressing up, and I didn't, like, think much of it. I'm completely dressed up. Everything is great. And I've gone on, like, one of these, like, really bad rides, and now I have feeling super nauseous. And he was like, well, that's okay, that's okay. Like, we don't have to, like, you know, go on, like, any more rides. We can just, like, go and sit on the beach. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. Like, we'll just, like, we'll go and sit on the beach. I guess that's okay. 
and I am walking towards the beach, and I see this like huge, like you know, uh, like proposal sign. Like I see this like proposal set up, and I look towards. I'm like, oh, like look how cute that is. Like that is so. Like this is so cute. This is so like you know beautiful. I wonder like who is going to you know get proposed today. And we were about to you know like lay out our blanket. And I remember telling him like, but no, 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 let's not like lay it out here because we, then we like be in the way of like pictures if they want pictures. So we should like move a little like further away. Um, and. He was like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Like we can just like move a little further away. <laughs> but I could sense the like nervous energy. I'm like, why are you so fucking jittery, man? Like, are you okay? Like, do you need water? I know I'm the one who's feeling nauseous, but like, can I help you? Like, what is wrong? But we were so we're like sitting at a distance, right? And um, and then he was basically like, that hey, can you just um go and get me like some fries i want something to eat and i looked at him and i'm like that what like i am the one who's feeling <laughs> nauseous yeah you want me to get up and go get like fries for you so i gave him that look but i was like fine you know what whatever it's okay so i went and when i came back i like i remember i just like remember feeling so fucking shocked because I was looking for him towards the blanket and my brain had that moment where it's looking at the blanket when he's not there and looking at the proposal sign where he is there and my brain is trying to like now put two and two together yeah. and I was like oh my god this is actually happening like this is yeah this is not a dream right now this is like happening for real like this is true he yeah. is right there He's down on one knee and he's about to like ask me to marry him. Like this is just and and then we got engaged. That's what happened after like me that I still have to like get all of my he got a photographer, um he got hired a photographer to like get the pictures and we still haven't gotten our pictures back. But mm-hmm. I'm just going to say it out loud that I'm crying. And every single one of them. Yeah. Every single one of them. Like there is not like a single picture where I'm not like in tears, and I, I regret that now because I wish there was like one. But but I'm so <laughs> overwhelmed, and I yeah. was overwhelmed because I knew exactly like you know what I had been through. Yeah. Um. To get this to where whole time, to like get to where I was, and it was just like so overwhelming, and I, like. That night, I remember um, sort of asking him that, uh, you know, like, are you, are you like sure? Like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to like repeat history here. So I asked him that and he was like, that, no, no, I'm sure. And he said that you exist like a fact in my mind. Like, you're a fact of my life. Like, it's not a choice. It's not a maybe. It's not like a, you know, like, that we, like, think about it and, like, tomorrow it can change. Like, this is a fact. The fact that you exist, like, everything else, like, moves around you. Like, it revolves around you and you are, you are, like, at the centerpiece of it. I'm telling you. When I say that I feel like I'm dating, or like not dating, I'm engaged to like a completely like different person altogether, I mean it. Because I just like, I think like he is out there like getting my jacket dry cleaned and I um, came to like my own apartment because I'm going to move tomorrow. Yeah. And I, for the past, like, five days, all I've heard is that, oh, my God, like, life is so bad without you. It's just been five days. He's like, it's so bad. Like, I don't think I can do this anymore. Like, should I just take a flight? Like, do you need help with moving? I'm like, I'm okay, bro. I'm okay. Just chill. That's fine. Like, I'll be there in, like, four days. (laughs) It'll be okay. (laughs) We'll be fine. Like, I can say anything and he'll do it. Like, he will do it. Like, I know. Like, I can just say that, do you want to, like, you know, can you do a headstand for me? 
and he'll do it. Like there is no questions asked. Yeah. I um like I remember like one of these nights. I think it was almost past midnight, and I'm like, I think I want ice cream. And the speed at which he got out of bed and got ready, and he's like, yeah, yeah, let's let's go, let's have ice cream, and drove around the city looking for ice cream and finding ice cream. And I was like, what has happened? This is a completely different person. He treats me like I am the only person on this planet that can, like, you know, exist for him. Like, there is no one else. Yeah. So here I am. Here I am. That's my story. And <laughs> first of all, I've been I've been holding this in for a while. But what exactly happened here? This is so, so wild and so crazy. And people in the comments, just to let you know, because I know you can't see it. But, like, I hope my um, manager doesn't see because my cheeks are red. I made a, a funny little joke. I was like, is anyone else cutting onions right now? Like, people are so moved and touched. Like, I feel like I could, like, shed a tear, but I'm just not going to be, like, you know, I'm not going to be that person. But, you know, like, look at what happened. Look at what happened. This is so night and day different. And it goes to show that the key words are despite the past or whatever has happened to you, as long as you're willing to bring the willpower to view it differently or allow us to help you get better, there is nothing off limits to you. I don't care what this person said. I don't care what he or she said. I don't care what he or she did. It takes an open mind and a willingness to work. This woman did the work. She did the work on good days. She did the work on bad days. She relied on her support that she had got with us in the meantime. She has basically acquired a mini PhD in manifestation herself because she is in my program that has allowed her to have a wealth of information, to get information from the medical standpoint, from the scientific standpoint, from each and every single standpoint. There's nothing that she did not have available to herself and that's because this was an investment for her into her future. And towards the end, she entered into like the art of detachment, which I talk about a lot. And she was good with or without. Now tell us to just like, you know, put this off in a bow. Um, where, where are you headed now? Like what's happening? Like what's, what's exactly happening? I heard something about like, you know, a couple of holidays or something, you know, I don't know, like just, just I... curious. So we're going to fly out of um, country tomorrow because I wanted uh, I wanted to go to the Bora Bora Islands. So we're going to the Bora Bora Islands. I could have said that I wanted to go to the North Pole and we would be going to the North Pole. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> it's, it's very funny because I am sometimes I am like now I'm scared to like almost say exactly what I want because even it as like look, I know that mm -hmm. this man is going to do it like it's I have to be so careful because I can't like just like I can't just say like the other day I was like watching TikToks I'm like oh I I am craving cheesy fries because I saw cheesy fries on a TikTok and 10 minutes later I had cheesy fries on a plate in front of me like he is so scared to death man like he is just so scared to lose me like he's like well, I cannot possibly like fuck up like I can't say anything wrong to this girl like I can't do anything like everything has to be perfect every single thing has to be perfect like he doesn't even let me sit in a dirty car like in his like like if his car is not clean he goes to the car wash because he like would not even like let me do that like that's like it's just such a like night and day difference so we're going and i'm in like peak like wedding planning mode which is a different kind of stress but it's 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 good stress because i'm like trying to figure out what outfits I'm going to wear, like where the venue is going to be next today, and then we're going to basically um, go to India for a few months. Um, but yeah, to plan our wedding. So yeah, here we are. This is that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I do the Lord's work. We do the Lord's work. This is so crazy. Stop. Okay, honestly. 
Uh, we're almost even at 90 minutes for ha this success story, but I, I'm just going to ask you like maybe one or two more questions and then I'm going to end, yeah, the, end yeah. this on a bow. Um, and if we want to do another one later on, obviously know that you're always welcome here. Any, any given point in time, you just got to let me know and we're going to make it happen. But if there are some people in the audience right now listening or who will listen to the playback, what do you have to say to someone who is on the fence of investing in themselves and pulling that trigger and either, you know, getting some of the coaching that you got or the program that you got? Tell me what, or not tell me, but talk to them. Talk to them right now and say, like, what would you give them as a word of encouragement for maybe people who are on the fence, but they're just not quite sure yet? How can you give them that encouragement? I would say that, like, the faster that they, like, if they're on the fence of, like, getting coaching, I would personally, like, say that that means that they actually need it. And then... Mm -hmm they should just get it instead of delaying it because sometimes like and I've been an athlete like all my life like there's a reason that we need coaches because yeah. we need someone to like you know step in like you can't teach tennis yourself like you, you can't like, teach yourself tennis essentially yeah. it's the same way like there are some things like you just like need that extra push and it's always good to like have someone in your corner rooting for you and like you know um, being your cheerleader and this has been like a great investment because I'm like I am a very different person now this is like the way the thing that I scripted about myself like they weren't just affirmations to get what I want in yeah. hindsight like it's just like it's who I am now yeah and I would I would not like this a year ago yeah um like I, I don't I don't fully remember a lot of it anymore, yeah. which is weird because I have a very sharp memory, but I don't remember the things I used to say a year ago, but I'm sure you do. Yeah. So you can attest to it. Like I'm not like I'm not the same person anymore. And it has been an amazing investment because I just the way that like my life has glowed up. Like this is just how I get treated by everyone everyone treats me like I am like the moment I walk into a room like I, I've noticed it multiple times like people stop talking they stop talking in a good way and they want to like you know listen to me I am like constantly respected everyone like values me so much so if they're on the fence of like getting coaching they should like definitely definitely do it yeah, there's definitely options in all budgets and there's payment plans and there's so many different ways to get involved in coaching in our world. Um, I will say a lot of what she utilized um, is Manifestation University, even the previous programs like they've been melded into MU as well as things like the King and Queen package personal one to one as well. For her, I think probably the most differentiating factor outside of the program being absolutely incredible was for her, it was super, super important um, for her to have access to text coaching. Text coaching where she could reach out to me, um, my family members, you know, whenever she had a problem, she had an issue, she needed something to be clarified, anything like that, um, to be able to be set on the straight and narrow. A lot of times if people just had the support, um, you know, it, a lot can be accomplished. I will say that as always, is it, it is a co-creative effort. I can give you all the tools, but if you don't want to change and you're going to sit with your hands on your hips and say, how can I have my limitations and have the result at the same time, I cannot rework the way that the law works to make you more comfortable. I can just give you, uh, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 different techniques to make you feel more comfortable. And we can go through potent sessions where I align you to the correct energy, like how we've been doing in this, uh, in this challenge and you know what you'll get with your day three, uh, little take home gift today. But it has to be also someone who's willing to do the work. And I, I want to, I want to just end on it is that I know that, you know, for some of these programs, they can be investments, but I want to hear from you. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? hundred percent. Yeah. It was like, all, like it was, it's so obvious, right? Like, it's just, like, I, I know. would not be where I am. No. Like, I genuinely feel like I'm just, like, dating 
Oh my god, I keep saying dating again and again. Like, I, I know. Myself, I'm Engage woman problems. <laughs> Engage woman problems. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I, I'm engaged to this man who just, like, looks like him, essentially. That's the only thing that's in but, common, though. Because he's a whole new man. It's like you're cheating, you yeah. know, which in a little funny way. It's yeah. kind of like you're cheating, you know? He's just, like, in the zone, I'm telling you, he is... My birthday is in two weeks, and I know that your birthday is like in about Monday. a week, so yeah. even less. It's, it's on Monday. Ha- happy early birthday. Thank you. Thank you very but much. Basically, he is planning so much, and I know that because he's been like asking all my friends and my parents, and I know it's going to be a very like beautiful, fulfilling birthday. And the reason I'm mentioning it is because last year I was crying. On my birthday. I was crying till 9 p.m. on my birthday yep. because I was that sad about everything that he said. Oh, I remember those days. I remember those days very well. I, I didn't know our one year anniversary is coming up, babe. You'll have to like message me so that way we can send flowers to each other, you know, because <laughs> it's a whole vibe. Like it, you started off the call being like, it's almost our one year anniversary. I was like, oh my goodness. Like, you know, we, we've got to send each other some flowers or something because this is, this has just got to be a thing. This is absolutely incredible. I don't want to take up any more of your time. I know we could talk for ages. And like I said, anytime you're always welcome. If people want to do a round two or if you're open to a round two, you always have my number and you know where to reach me. But I will let you go. I appreciate your time so very much. I'm so very proud of you. I cannot say it enough. This is honestly, it's exceeded my expectations above, beyond, and more. And mom is also here in the background. Um, you know, everyone says she like that they extend their 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 love towards you and congratulations on your engagement from our side and from basically the the whole community that that is part of me because everyone is glowing and gushing for you. I can't wait to see exactly all the things that transpire and unfold. So please keep me in the loop uh, and I will I will let you go. You have an amazing rest of your day, my love. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Yes. Yes, definitely. Bye. Guys, this is incredible. And I did see some people who were interested to learn about the program she's in or the personal coaching that she's in. And then some people expressing concern that like, what if we really, really want to do this, but we're on a really, really, really tight budget. Understand that we have ways to work with us through payment plans. And you'd be surprised to understand in case you don't know, there are, you know, packages and and, and one-time experiences as little as $149 all the way up into the 3K, 5K range for a deluxe VIP, unlimited everything type of experience, unlimited texting, calls, plans, the whole nine yards. So there's really a space for everyone, no matter the budget, everywhere in between. And so what I can do with your permission, please let me know in the comments, is I could potentially drop another post in the group for individuals who are interested to learn about how to work with us one-on-one in all ranges um, and we can we can collaborate together and I can place you into a package that I think would really serve you based on your budget. But I want to be very, very clear what she got was Manifestation University. And I will drop the link to that also in the comments below for a strategy call if you're interested to learn more. Um, and I will link it um, at the end of our challenge as well that this is what she utilized along with the personal coaching to get her to where she is right now. Um, A lot of people want to know exactly what someone else did, and that is what she did. So if you guys are interested to learn more, I will absolutely make a post. You just let me know. Just let me know in the comments, say, Persis, make the one-to-one post, and I will do it. And I will place you guys into the correct program based on your budget. But I also want to be very transparent program is probably the best fit for a lot of people only because it's a long-term like it's a long-term program it's not something where you have one call and that's it however if you can only get one call hi Shristi if you can only get one call I would absolutely recommend you at least get one call to know that you're on track to know you know if you want to get some questions answered because 
some constructive criticism is better than none at all. And you need to at least know you're moving in the right direction. And then there are coaching plans and everything that go above that. So I will make a, a, a post about it. It seems like Ashley is very interested to understand and anyone else, I will absolutely, you know, problem solve with you. So Shristi, thank you so much for coming on. I absolutely adore you, as you know, and I can't wait to see everything that transpires and continues to transpire. You've truly stepped into your goddess energy and girl, I'm just so, so proud of you because I've always seen this in you this whole time and I'm glad that you just see things clearly for yourself because it's a testament to the hard work that we've both put in and that we've both sacrificed to get to where we are right now. And I just can't wait to see all the amazing things that are going to come from this. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Day three doc will drop as soon as I press end to this. And then um, I will also make a post for those of you guys who may be interested. So have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for hanging out with us.